بتو ميزت بنوان تكا ديفاس بتكلا في تي بي سي ميكانيزم الصوت يا عمر لو سمحتي بأوضح من كده شويه حاضر ماشي الاوضه كي المثال اللي نتكلم عليها النهارده ميكانيزم اوف ايديوباثيك في تي بي في سيز اي سي جي دايجنوز اوف في تي اي سي جي لوكاليزيشن اند كوريليشن ويز فلوسكوبيك اناتومي فيرست ايديوباثيك في تي كونستيوت اراوند 10% اوف اول في تي ات هاز فافورابل دايجنوز 70% اوريجينيت فروم ذا ار في او تي اتس بريزنت ات از Uh, called idiopathic if uh, uh, it's structurally normal heart, which is a normal ECG, echo, and cryangiogram. Uh, sometimes uh, there are subtle uh, MRI changes uh, uh, in those patients. And mechanism, uh, uh, they uh, sometimes has focal mechanism, secondary to automaticity, microentry, or cyclic AMB triggered activity. Uh, here, the, uh, the, the triggered activity is because of cyclic AMB. Uh, which releases calcium from uh, uh, cyclopasmic reticulum and increase intracellular calcium, which result in delayed after depolarization, uh, occurring in phase four of the action potential. Uh, and uh, the cycle MP uh, increases by beta receptor stimulation, which occurs during exertion and sympathetic stimulation, and also uh, during isoprenean uh, administration. And, th and these tachycardias uh, respond to um, uh, our uh, uh, beta broker uh, uh, sensitive Vapamil sensitive, diazine sensitive, uh, and acylcholine, and termination of the cardia uh, uh, occur with uh, those pharmacological uh, therapies. Classifications uh, according to origin of the cardia into right ventricular or left ventricular, uh, the morphology, uh, uh, left bundle, right bundle like, uh, response to exercise testing, uh, and pharmacological uh, agents, uh, behavior of VT sometimes came, come like. Uh, uh, non sustained or versus sustained, or morpho morphology monomorphic uh, versus polymorphic. Uh, the, uh, here, the monomorphic uh, uh, consists of either outflow uh, tract uh, tachycardias, which are the most common, either from RVOT, LVOT, uh, aortic cusps, uh, or uh, uh, fascicular VTs from the conduction uh, system. Uh, lift, uh, lift anterior, lift posterior fascicular, lift anterior fascicular, and septal VT, and uh, related to the inflow, which is the annual VTs, uh, mitral and tricuspid annuals, uh, VT, annual VT, and um, the polymorphic. And I will not focus on the polymorphic in this lecture, but uh, these uh, are the primary ischemic syndromes. Uh, uh, in the history diagnosis of VT, uh, we have to bear in mind the hemodynamic status of the patient, uh, so it's unstable. Uh, we should uh, DC, uh, give DC curve diversion. Uh, um, they are generally wide complex cardia, uh, uh, so sometimes narrow in particular uh, VT and high septal VT. Uh, we'll talk about the Brigada criteria, which is a four step algorithm, uh, starting by uh, which with good specificity uh, uh, and um, uh, starting first step by. Uh, seeing uh, the ab absent RS complex in uh, any precordial lead. Uh, so if, um, if all uh, chest leads are in the same direction, that's uh, either positive concordance or negative concordance, uh, this is uh, specific for VT. Uh, uh, if, uh, uh, if not, we go to the second step, uh, uh, that's uh, RS is uh, greater than 100 millisecond. Uh, and uh, this is uh, uh, the, the idea of this is uh, that uh, the VT uh, 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 st starts as a muscle-to-muscle -muscle transmission, so the onset of the uh, electric activity is slow. That's why it is the time is prolonged, and here the cutoff is 100 milliseconds that's, uh, the, from the start of R to a D of S, uh, more than 100 milliseconds, that's the VT. If not, we go to the second step, which is a uh, dissociation. Uh, here we uh, we look carefully at the uh, um, at the segments between the R waves, looking for uh, any uh, differences. The P waves here uh, appear as uh, um, uh, like a deflection of the baseline, which are hidden P's uh, distributed from the uh, uh, VT. 
uh, and uh, and the, and again, the uh, the fusion beats, the capture beats, fusion uh, fu uh, capture beats are uh, sinus beats that find way into uh, demonstrate uh, themselves within the tachycardia, and fusion beats are um, like a mix between two. And the, if not, the fourth step is um, the fourth step is. Uh, we, we look at the um, uh, features of the uh, either uh, right bundle morphology or two-bundle morphology. We look in V1 and V6. So uh, the VT is, um, uh, if, ha if has a, a right bundle branch block morphology, that's uh, um, a monophysic R waves or uh, a left habit ear or QR complex V1. Uh, uh, these, uh, uh, these, uh, these, these are not typical of the right bundles that we know, so it is a VT. If, 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 um, uh, so, uh, so the idea of this is we know the typical left bundle, we know the, right, the typical right bundle. If it is not like the typical we know, that's a VT. Here, initial R wave, again, uh, it, is, it is delayed. Uh, activation that's uh, cut off here is on, uh, more than 30 milliseconds. Notching or sending of the, of the sending limbs with S wave. Uh, the notching again demonstrates uh, and plateau demonstrates the delay, uh, and these are all uh, reflect the muscle to muscle transmission. Uh, and here, here are S uh, greater than 70. You notice uh, the, uh, the first space was 100, here it is more than 70. So uh, these are the real criteria. Uh, another algorithm is a very key algorithm uh, that look at AVR. Uh, uh, AVR should be uh, uh, negative, uh, and if initial R is present in VR, uh, so it's, uh, it's a VT. If not, we look again at the uh, first wave, either it is R or Q, and it is uh, the cut off here is 40 milliseconds. Uh, uh, if more than 47 seconds, it's a VT. Again, here, the uh, third step is notching. It's down, it's down stroke of, uh, down stroke of pre predominantly negative QRS. And uh, the last one is uh, the VI over, over VT, that's V initiation over V termination. And this is the first 40 milliseconds of the, uh, of the uh, uh, cycle. And the last 40 milliseconds, uh, the, uh, the VT, the start should be uh, uh, slow. That's why it should be uh, equal or less uh, or, uh, than one, and if it's so, it's a VT. Uh, here, there are some rules for localization of uh, VT or, or PVCs. Uh, uh, first, we look uh, at the uh, bundle branch pattern, and we look at V1. Uh, so if it is uh, negative, it's uh, left bundle pattern. If, uh, if uh, positive, it's right bundle pattern. They look at the transition chest leads, and the definition of transition is the uh, R wave over S wave is equals or equals or more than uh, one. And this, we look at this relative to the uh, sinus uh, transition, mm -hmm. and we look at the uh, third of the few leads. Uh, so if it's positive, that's uh, an inferior axis, and the reverse true, and leads uh, one AVL, we, we, we look to, to find uh, uh, localization discrimination between different uh, locations. Um, so it is uh, uh, um, but in the heart it is like uh, long axis, long axis, uh, um, showing uh, the the points that we're talking either the V1 intrude in the first wall and this is the size it's a free wall RVOT that's a septal RVOT uh, the side coin cusp, uh, left coin cusp, and uh, annulus. And the localization can be predicted from the QRS morphology uh, that uh, uh, w uh, in the first position you are close to the to V1, to the electrode, so uh, the, um, all electrical activity is away from V1, that's the QRS pattern. And as you go uh, posteriorly, the R wave grows uh, slightly, like uh, here in uh, V2, it is uh, bigger, it's going bigger the R wave because you are getting farther from V1. 
and again you are going to the left side because as you go posteriorly you are going again to the left side and here uh, is a schematic diagram for the uh, RVOT that's the tricuspid valve uh, the inlet and the outlet for pulmonary valve and this is anterior um, intermediate and posterior and uh, uh, and uh, uh, here um, uh, RVOT versus LVOT. We look at the transition. Uh, if the transition is uh, from uh, V4 to V5, uh, uh, and this looks like our normal ECG. Uh, uh, if this looks like our normal, our normal ECG, the transition is really like V4, V5. Is, uh, so it is a uh, free wall RVOT. Uh, and if uh, if uh, if it comes uh, closer V3 to V4, that's uh, simple. Uh, as it grow further uh, to V1, uh, closer to V1, we are getting a posterior. So V2, V3, it's left coming cusp V1 to V2, uh, uh, left coming cusp of LVOT. So, um, of course, there is some anatomical variation, but this is uh, the main uh, like, uh, um, uh, rules for this. The fuel versus septum again, uh, the septum is close to the um, Conductive system and uh, free wall uh, is far, so the free wall will be, free wall will be delayed, delay in the form of notching in the few leads and delay in the form of increased PRS duration more than 140 uh, milliseconds. And here, very posterior RVOT side, um, here we look at V1 uh, and, and lead, no, sorry, not V1, uh, lead one, the celestial lead. Uh, lead one. Uh, so the most anterior location, uh, 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 the lead one, lead one is negative, uh, uh, and the um, side one that's most posterior, lead one becomes positive. Um, here, um, the RVOT region can be divided. Uh, uh, it's a study uh, uh, where they divided uh, uh, further divisions of RVOT. But generally, the anterior size demonstrates uh, Q waves, uh, uh, as we said, uh, in lead uh, one, and the QS in lead AVL. We again, uh, this uh, algorithm will look at the one and AVL. Uh, posterior size demonstrates uh, R wave in lead one, and early uh, precordial transition uh, in V3. Um, and uh, between them, there is a gradient between uh, both. Uh, locations. Aortic cusp VT originate from the aortic cusp uh, and um, uh, uh, characterized by longer duration. طيب خلاص صوت واضح. by longer duration and greater amplitude of the R wave. Why? Because we, we are getting posterior. It's beyond V2. Uh, R over QS duration um, more than uh, um, 50% and RS amplitude more than 30% as compared to VT originated from the RVT. Uh, um, um, and uh, uh, Again, uh, uh, the view versus aortic cusp, uh, our wave uh, 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 duration is greater uh, in v uh, V1 and V2. Uh, and here is our area view, 30 degrees, that we uh, look in the cath lab. And we can imagine here where is uh, the RVT. So this is uh, 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 this area view. So uh, the, uh, the um, the spine here, the atrium is posterior, the right and left atrium here. Uh, this is annulus, and this is the ventricles. If we if we talk about the right side, let we, let us talk about the right side. So this right atrium is uh, tricuspid valve, and this is uh, uh, the, uh, the right ventricular inlet. This is the right ventricular trabecular part, and this is the RV outflow. This is just uh, a most anterior structure. That's RVOT. And uh, the pulmonary valve is uh, above the RVOT. 
Here we have the, uh, the free wall and uh, uh, the anterior wall and this posterior. So if we see anatomy, here is uh, the uh, corresponding anatomy. This is the uh, ending with the pulmonary valve. Uh, this is anterior and this is posterior and occipital. Um, this is the commonest uh, site of uh, PVCs. And this uh, uh, area of 40 degrees. Uh, so here, uh, the, uh, the heart is divided into uh, uh, right and left side. It is the right side, uh, right uh, uh, atrium and ventricles. Here is the left uh, atrium and ventricles. And um, uh, this is here in the middle, and another step, and this is a aortic uh, root. Uh, uh, the right uh, coronary cusp is to the right, the left coronary cusp. So the left and the non coronary cusp is posterior. So uh, this is the uh, anatomy corresponding uh, to this image. Uh, this is the left coronary cusp, uh, the right coronary cusp, and the non coronary cusp, which is posterior and more uh, lower than the both uh, cusps. This uh, angiography uh, showing the cusps. Again, this uh, REO. Uh, here uh, there is a catheter uh, uh, um, delivering uh, RF in the right coronary cusp. So it works to the left coronary cusp. Uh, here you see the right is right and left are, are anterior, the, the non coronary is posterior. And we, as we know, the non coronary cusp is uh, uh, over the fibrous uh, part of the LVOT, which has, uh, is not a site of origin of for VC. Uh, VT. Uh, this is uh, um, the right coronary cusp and the left coronary cusp is higher. And here uh, in the LO view, this, uh, the right coronary cusp is to the uh, right and the left coronary cusp is to the left. Uh, we, we know this from the uh, coronary uh, and geography. Idiopathic left VT, uh, it has three varieties, left posterior fascicular VT. Uh, which is right bone blanch block and uh, left axis deviation, it's most common, or now 90%. 90%. Uh, less common is anterior fascicular VT, the high cycle is a bunch of variety with uh, relative neural complex, as we said. Uh, and uh, the mechanism, it is um, from series like micro entry circuit in the third of the fascicle. Um, Circuit is confined to the Purkinje system, uh, which is insulated from the underlying ventricular uh, myocardium. Uh, false tendons of fibro muscular bands that extend from the posterior inferior LV to the basal septum have also been implicated in the uh, anatomical section. Sometimes, while we are bidding, uh, like this for previous years, during echo, we see these uh, false tendons in the LV. And the resting SG is usually normal. And uh, symmetrical inflammatory uh, inversion will be present after VT termination. position changes. During VT, a right bond bench a block was left uh, a particular block, uh, as we said. And RS, uh, R over S ratio is greater than one if you want. Uh, so, uh, this 12 VT ECG during tachycardia uh, um, is relatively. So, uh, uh, so, uh, relatively narrow, but um, uh, it's like around 100 uh, milliseconds, uh, 110 milliseconds, and uh, 150 bits per minute. Uh, we first, we look uh, at V1. So, uh, v, uh, uh, before, before, we can notice some narrow beats, uh, uh, so this capture beats uh, in the middle. And um, uh, if you look at V1, here it is, uh, it is positive. Uh, and um, uh, the inferior leads, uh, um, here showing a left axis deviation. So this is a secure fascicular uh, tachycardia. Long term prognosis, very good. Patients who have insisted tachycardia may develop tachycardia, late cardiomyopathy. And the ablation is indicated, intervenous development is affected, terminating VT as uh, it is sensitive, and mild to moderate symptoms uh, respond to oral verapamil. Um, uh, and beta blockers again, it is proprio sensitive again. Uh, and if a patient is not in medical treatment or can't tolerate, we 
uh, 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 or it can, bind, it can bind in the first place. Mutanial VT, right boundary branch block pattern, transition uh, in V1, V2, let's turn up here. Um, it has S wave in V6, uh, monophasic R, RS in uh, from V2 to V6. Uh, it, uh, the most common, around 60%, is anterolateral, percent is posterior, and posterior septal uh, is about 30%. And uh, here uh, we see the uh, this R dominant R wave in uh, in V1 and um, a positive inferior. Uh, these are three might have used. Spanulus uh, VT, 7% or idiopathic, originate uh, from the septal region uh, in around 78%, and V1 um, less common. Uh, it may, arrange, uh, may, may arise from an receptor lesion, uh, and early transition uh, in particular days, it's a V3, this right side, so it is V1 and V2 are negative. Uh, and uh, um, if, because it's septal, it will be, uh, the septal type, it will be uh, um, like, uh, this is a diagram uh, showing um, uh, the uh, top view for, for, for the base of the heart. Uh, this is a chest wall, anterior chest wall, and this is uh, the uh, pulmonary valve, uh, arvitic pulmonary valve, the aortic valve, uh, mortal and tricuspid. And here is comparison between um, the morphology of PVCs arising from the free wall, first one, uh, second one, uh, pulmonary uh, sinus. The cusp right one, palmar sinus cusp left, the posterior septal region of RVT. Uh, um, this position uh, here is the uh, right uh, uh, coronary cusp, uh, uh, the left coronary cusp, uh, and uh, other locations for um, for PVCs and uh, VT. That's our. Um, uh, uh, our to mitral continuity uh, here the number nine, LV summit number ten, and my much annual symbol. Okay, so um, uh, uh, this what uh, computes uh, Friday. We look at uh, V one. It is uh, uh, negative transition. Here is in V four. Uh, if your leads uh, are uh, positive, so this is uh, this is uh, left on the bench block morphology transition V4 uh, and uh, 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 inferior uh, axis. Uh, so these findings are uh, 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 from the right side and uh, uh, inferior axis from the RVOT. This was it, so VOT, uh, VT. Uh, this is another uh, example. Here V1 is positive, uh, so it is a right bond branch block and uh, from the left, and his, uh, uh, is the fear of this is again, this is And uh, this is LVOT, uh, VT. Uh, um, uh, this, uh, this tachycardia, uh, V1 is uh, positive. Um, and so it's uh, le like on the left side, and here it is, uh, there is a text deviation, and this uh, and it's relatively narrow. This is a uh, left posterior vesicular VT. Uh, this is uh, again uh, uh, here R wave uh, positive, and here the axis is uh, inferior axis uh, or, uh, or right axis deviation, and this is. Uh, the other type, the rear type, which is left anterior to the So, thank you.